Hello, peace to everyone. God bless. Um, of course, this is Arul and this is uh, brother, brother Darren. And um, we got uh, brother Jude recording here and brother Ray who's part of the team somewhere else. And uh, of course, JC and so on. Um, this is um, the, this is to give uh, an introduction on uh, Operation Stevens um, one year evangelist training program. You must have seen the um, advertisement already on um, Soko community. And um, yeah, we just thought we'll record a video just to give you more information. Okay, just to give a brief background, the goal for Operation Stephen is twofold. One is of course to reach out to the ends of the world. Uh, uh, the team, we ourselves would like to reach out. Yeah. And the other is as we try and reach out, we'd also like to train other Christians uh, as proper evangelists. So we'd like to do uh, sort of help others also do something similar to us. So that's the broad background to Operation Stephen. Stephen, of course, uh, um, is a reference to uh, the first Christian martyr, uh, Stephen, in the Book of Acts. Okay, now coming to this particular training program, it's mainly apologetics. As you can see in the advertisement already, 13 modules. The rough idea is uh, we'd cover one module per month and in a month of course we have one full day session uh, in English. Um, I'd also talk about the other languages uh, a bit later but let, let me just stick to the English offering for now. So 13 modules once a month. Um, so of course in reality it's 13 month but um, um, we, we chose to name it one year program just to keep it uh, simple in the heading uh, there. Um, now who do we uh, like to take part in this? We'd really like to uh, take up committed Christians who would really like to go through the entire program primarily. That is our main target first. Um, we have already received a few emails which is really good thank you very much uh, that's very encouraging and we also saw plenty of comments on uh, soko channel um, with uh, plenty more expressing interest so the thing is if you are a committed christian and if you'd like to enroll yourself please just shoot an email to info at operationstephen.org Hopefully by Monday or maybe Tuesday, we'd be responding back to all those who have emailed uh, with details of the next steps in terms of the application process. But ultimately what we would, what we would uh, be doing roughly in the entire application process is making sure you're a committed Christian. Amen. Um, that's one. And number two is uh, trying to see how we can bring you together with us as par part of our team so we can all move together, train together and all those things. So that's our rough uh, aim. So uh, I think we'd be creating WhatsApp groups or whatever it takes to make sure we are in touch right through the training. Um, so that'll be part of the application process. More on that when you email to info at operationsteven.org. Now, um, I just thought I'll answer a few questions which have been asked in the comments section. Someone's, someone asks, is it free? Yes, it is free. But one thing I'd really like to make um, uh, make note of here is this it is absolutely free just like how our eternal salvation is free amen but the fact of the matter is purely because our salvation is free we should not take it lightly mm. if someone pays for something they'll take it seriously that is normal human response uh, reaction or human um, attitude mm. but when something is free they might take take it lightly but the fact of the matter is eternal salvation ought to be taken extremely seriously. Similarly, even though this training is free, we'd really like to uh, impress upon you the idea that this is intended to be a very serious training. And so as long as that is born in mind, uh, the answer to this question is yes, it is free. Um, someone says, um, may God bless this program. I wish I can join this program, Princess Rainbow. Uh, to people who are saying that, uh, please just shoot an email that is the next step so we know the list of people who are interested so we can follow up from there someone asked the question is it online that's a very good question so the the way this training is going to work is like this the primary medium of communication is online the main um, way in which you will get to know the live 
session is through the live streaming of the session. Now, of course, we'd be live streaming from a particular venue. Um, we haven't decided which venue this is going to be. And I think there might be multiple venues. Uh, ideally, I'd really like to write to different churches, different uh, Christian groups in various cities to try and see if they can host uh, different modules in their places. And that way we can sort of encourage local uh, groups of Christians be interested in this training. That's what we'd like to ideally do. In other words, the only thing which would be permanent, God strengthening, God willing, uh, would be the live streaming. In terms of the physical venue, it could be London today, it could be uh, Frankfurt tomorrow, it could be somewhere in Scotland, uh, when I say tomorrow, the next month, and somewhere in Scotland the month after that, and so on. Uh, but uh, the continuity is going to be uh, through the live streaming. <coughs> so yes, it's online. Uh, so the idea is any English speaking person from across the world could uh, express your interest and uh, uh, write an email and we'd be very eager to follow up with uh, as many Christians as possible um, from across the world if we can uh, sort of cover ground in terms of geography we'd be very very um, happy about that because we'd really like to mobilize Christian evangelists from across the world um, if, if, for example, if we raise a local leader, for example, in South Africa, um, and if we can help him, encourage him, and so on, that person could be influential in raising up maybe another hundred uh, Christian evangelists, maybe in the next year in South Africa, and so on. So, so we are very keen to find people from across the gl globe. So, any English-speaking person for the English offering, uh, like I said, there there are a couple of other offerings which I'll come to at the end. Please uh, note them. Um, uh, please bear them in mind uh, for later for for, uh, for, for uh, for more information uh, on them at the end. But for now, English any English speaker, please apply by sending an email. Another question uh, by, from Brother Jamal uh, and Brother Jamal, thank you very much for your comments. I've I've been following your comments uh, um, for a long time now. Uh, your encouragement is very very important for Amen. people like me. Um, so please. Uh, please uh, a, a huge thank you from me and from my team and I'm sure from all Christians uh, both Hyde Park and elsewhere in the world people like you are very very important uh, and you are asking is this training only for locals or someone uh, or can someone come from overseas so I, I think we have answered that um, it's not just for people in the UK um, uh, someone from elsewhere can participate uh, they can participate virtually from being where they are by watching the live streaming but uh, to me it seems also that you might be thinking about asking the person uh, to come over to the UK if, if that is an option we'd be more than glad to uh, try and see how we can support that also so please get in touch brother Jamal email um, us um, now so moving on, Brother Stephen says, I am from India, I desperately want to attend this. Absolutely brother, please email. Uh, uh, Sister Malika says, can anyone sign up? Absolutely. The only eligibility criterion for this is, are you a committed Christian? If yes. you are, we'd really like to encourage you, train you and so on. And so anyone can sign up by all means. And um, I will join, count me in, and so on from a few people. My brothers and sisters, please do email. If you're already interested, please email. Email is the next step. Please do that. Um, is it online? I think we have answered that. Do they have an equivalent in Ireland? A brother asks that, and I think I think we have answered that. Brother, if you're, of course, based in Ireland, you should be speaking in um, English also. And so, uh, please do get in touch um, and we'd be more than glad to follow up. There have been a couple of very interesting other comments also. Uh, you'll be trained to deceive people and so on. So, well, for people who are, of course, not Christians, who are sort of mocking um, the things that we have put up here, by all means, we'd like to en engage with you also. But the fact of the matter is there are other avenues through which we would do that. Um, someone says this shouldn't be free. Shibuze Johns. 
this shouldn't be free thanks for doing thank you very much brother it is absolutely true this is invaluable and um, simple servants like like us we are extremely honored that we could do this uh, it shouldn't be true uh, f free in the sense that this is very very highly valuable but still of course the lord said uh, freely you have received and freely you give and therefore it is free and um, thankfully the lord has um, given us finances uh, resources and so on um, uh, to support us he has done that and the lord is faithful so i think i think he'll do that until the end mm. so the course itself is going to be free all right uh, i'm not sure if there's any other can i attend and heckle asks ayan khan ayan khan for people like ayan khan or other muslims or anyone else who who is not a christian who would like to follow this course you are also welcome but the only thing we'll do is you'd be able to participate only through the live chat and we'll be of course moderating the live chat um, and so that's the only way you can interact of course you're most welcome to do that in that regard and i'm sure you'd appreciate that uh, uh, christians haven't got the time in such a training course to be heckled and so you shouldn't be expecting us to provide that opportunity there how do i enroll i'm from ghana west africa please email brother from mumbai i'll attend the course online absolutely brother but please sign up i'm sure just like i am con other christians can also watch the recorded session or watch the live streaming as casual visitors but we really like to encourage committed christians to email us what we would what we seek to do is once we again go through uh, go through a process and make sure that you are a committed christian we 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 try and see the ways in which we can get you on uh, our sort of team um, and by that we don't mean some sort of a very nice tight knit team or we we'd like to keep in touch with you in a closer way that's what i really mean so please email uh, and and uh, if you are committed please do email um now okay so that's i think the kind of questions we have this is the english session or the english offering on top of this um, i am a tamil as some of you might know uh, i am a tamil naan oru tamilan um enude oor per enga solla virumbala but i am a tamil and um, what we have been doing in tamil nadu is uh, we have been having a similar training uh, sort of on a trial basis for about a year now uh, through the grace of god and that has been instrumental in uh, uh, taking uh, such a step at this stage public formal course and uh, the point is there is a special training in tamil nadu in tamil also uh, the schedule for that is slightly different it's not once a month 8 hours it's rather um, um, every friday a couple of hours uh, that's the sort of schedule if you are interested in learning this in tamil please do email the same email again but if you're based in india there are there are um, Uh, local contact details which must be available on twitter uh, facebook um, instagram uh, so on social media there we have those details uh, please get in touch um, with uh, uh, based on those details but if you want to email please just let us know that uh, that you'd like to learn this in tamil so that's for the tamil offering and then uh, the third thing is uh, we also going to god strengthening have a special uh, another offering which is essentially all the rest of the uh, languages and the way we are going to do that is god strengthening we are hoping to find local leaders leaders who we can uh, try and verify to be mature christians who speak languages like i don't want to say languages across the world and we have found a few leaders already so uh, some of you are thinking about um, um sessions in your own mother tongue who are living in vulnerable countries please do email um, and we'd give you more information because in some of these countries we already have local leaders raising up uh, and so you might be able to learn this in your own mother tongue the way it's going to work is uh, the english recording is going to be your uh, the training recording material the, the training material so that's going to be in english and but what's going to happen is Uh, so the first saturday we have the english um uh, training but hopefully uh, that recording would be made available after the live streaming in an edited format 
let's say in a in a couple of days after that and that will be uploaded to youtube and we'll also have a close relationship with these local leaders and other local the other foreign language teams and what would happen is the local leader we'd uh, liaise with the local leader to make sure that the information which is in the training would be, would be disseminated to the local team who can't understand english in their local languages over a couple of weeks time and what we're going to do is god strengthening uh, we're going to designate a particular day uh, something like three or four hours of questions and answers so what's going to happen is the local leader would teach you or translate the material uh, in a convenient format maybe in one day maybe across three or four different set uh, sittings um, and so on so uh, i think i think he'll work that out or he or she'll work work that out with you um, and then and then you can go through that material and then finally we can have a question and question and answer session and uh, in, in that session we we can have all sorts of local teams joining um, the question could be asked in the local language but the local leader would translate that to to english so the question would be an, answered in english and local leaders for different teams would translate simultaneously to their respective teams in their own mother tongue so hopefully all teams would benefit so that's the rough idea in other words god strengthening we are hoping to cover english speaking audience tamil speaking audience and also audience uh, who speak all other languages the more the merrier but of course uh, please do pray for us um I, I i don't know if you know my background i am an engineer by profession <laughs> I worked in science uh, research and development sort of areas programming and things like that that's my bread and butter the thing that gives me money that's my background uh, and so working there to prepare these things i'm not i haven't done my phd or anything in theology my learning comes from my practical exposure and my rigorous learning of scriptures and uh, in other words we are we are simple people who just uh, who who just have done the uh, preparation so far so to take this huge step through god's grace we really need god's strength the spirit of the lord his wisdom his knowledge and his guidance and i'm sure over the many years uh, the lord has led me to work on the curriculum and so on uh, i'm sure the lord is in the center of this Amen. so that i am convinced of but the fact of the matter is like what moses said lord unless you go with us mm. we won't go anywhere Amen. just like that we are saying in you know, a humbling ourselves before god god unless you take us day by day unless mm. you lead us we can't do this mm. we are mere mortal human beings so we really need your help and that is our prayer please pray for us please pray for us and those who are committed to learn please enroll one of our one of my personal grievances uh, about the church generally is that over the last many centuries we have lost track of the idea of training and raising up people who would stand up to spread the gospel mm. i.e. evangelists that hasn't been happening for many centuries and this is a tragedy and of course through god's grace over the last couple of decades or so we have mighty men raise up across the globe and we thank uh, thank uh, god for all all of them we have people who are uh, beginning to gain expertise in uh, islamic polemics in all sorts of other things and so we thank for all of them uh, thank god for all of them and what we are intending to do god strengthening is to raise up a mighty army uh, from what we can uh, so we we are, we are we are eagerly waiting to raise up that mighty army uh, on our behalf also so that's the plan thank you very much uh, just to give you a heads up uh, on top of the apologetics course which is what you have uh, advertised uh, what what you have seen uh, on advertisement god strengthening uh, in the next couple of months or so we're going to begin offering polemics also and of course we have islamic polemics already done by a few different people my main focus isn't islam although uh, we'd like to do that also as a team but um, what uh, what we are going to do god strengthening is going to work on rigorous polemics on science so we can deal with the western world where there is rampant atheism agnosticism purely based on apparent anti 
uh, apparent scientific arguments which I'd call anti-scientific arguments. Based on them, people are denying God, defying God and running, running away from Him. So hopefully we'd raise up polemics uh, about science, uh, which of course goes hand in hand with uh, atheism, agnosticism and also Indian religions, Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism, Sikhism, um, also Judaism and then the various cults that mm. are out there, yeah. um, Jehovah's Witnesses, uh, Seventh-day Adventists, Mormons. Hebrew Israelites, uh, what's that? Mormons, Hebrew Mormons, Israelites. Black Israelites mm. and so on. So all sorts of these cults, we, we'd really like to mobilize that also, but all of that uh, perhaps um, after the apologetics uh, offering uh, gets gather space. So all of that maybe in a month or a couple of months or so. That is, um, uh, please watch out this space for that. And uh, yeah, this is the deal. Um, please email and on, uh, just one more thing. Instagram, um, uh, Facebook, Twitter, we have Operation Steven accounts. On YouTube also we have an Operation Steven English channel and also a separate Tamil channel. Details of them are there in the advertisement. Please subscribe for them. I don't know what the terms are. Subscribe, follow, whatever. I, I have personally not used any of these social media platforms before. I've never liked them. But, um, but uh, of course, there is uh, plenty of benefit in using them, um, in reaching out to people. So, so uh, for the ministry, we have begun using that. So please subscribe, follow, or whatever needs to be done. Please do so the message reaches out. Please pass on this invite to anyone else that you might uh, uh, think uh, uh, that you think might benefit. Uh, please pass on. Please speak to local <coughs> church leaders uh, and let them know that this would be extremely beneficial in training up Christian Christians who might very well be raised up as evangelists from your local fellowships and so on. So please spread the word out and um, thank you very much. Let's follow up on this and uh, through God's grace. Uh, mobilize as a mighty army to glorify our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything to add down to that, uh, Brother Darren? No, I just want to uh, to urge all of the believers, as, as Brother Raul said, um, we want committed uh, Christians to apply, to get involved. Uh, those that are walking with the Lord in sobriety, in faith, uh, in clear knowledge, and be, be prepared to fulfill the Great Commission. It's very important uh, in this day and age, uh, you know, unbelief is increasing. As Brother Rule has said, atheism, agnosticism, all of these things are Christians. The Lord is going to ask us to give an account of our time on earth for what we're here to do, for spreading the gospel, for speaking to others. Uh, it's imperative that those of us that are able, that we take up the gauntlet, we take up the missions, and we evangelize, we, pro we pro uh, proselytize. Uh, these things uh, are important, they're part of just being a Christian and we have to have to complete them. As far as the apologetics is concerned, the Bible says be ready to give them to every man, uh, I think in Peter, uh, an answer. Uh, so that's why we're here, that's what we've got to do. Um, I always say Hebrews 9 verse 27 is appointed for man to die once, after that comes the judgment. We have to be ready with our accounts for the Lord. Absolutely. Uh, just one more thing, I'd really like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the entire team who has come alongside. Um, of course, in terms of Operation Stephen team, you see Brother Darren here. Uh, Brother Ray is somewhere out there, in the maybe yeah. in the thick of a, 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 a <laughs> thick of a very important discussion, or maybe in a lion's uh, what's a lion's den or whatever. Yeah, den, so yeah. Brother Ray is somewhere there. Ray, Raymond Ulrich. Uh, there's Brother Craig, um, a matchet from Australia. Uh, there's brother. Uh, I don't. There's. I don't want to name uh, a brother from a, a country which is um, not Christian, which is a bit hostile right. to uh, following Christ. But there is a brother from there who's part of the team. Um, there are. Uh, there are other brothers. Uh, uh, Eugene. Um, there is. Uh, there is. Uh, who else have I missed? Tej. 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 Yeah. Sorry. I apologize, brother Tej. Uh, brother Tej. Uh, brother Raju. So there are several brothers who have and Sister Susan, there are several brothers mm -hmm. and sister, sister Susan who have got behind this. They have been very instrumental, they have been a great encouragement and not alone that, they've come together for us to be able to put this together, uh, to come so far. And um, 
hopefully through God's grace, we can grow even further as a team and as a family and uh, expand the kingdom of God across Amen. the world. Amen. God's blessings to you all and thank you very much. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, apart from the team, uh, Operation Stephen team, of course, we have um, uh, Soko team, we have Brother Jude here, mm. we have Brother JC, uh, we have other brothers at the park, not alone Soko team, we have Brother K, other people who are sort of uh, mobilizing their own things, like uh, uh, Brother Kane, and uh, the DCCA team, Sister Hatun, Brother Godwin, Brother Daniel and so on. Um, and there are many other brothers and sisters at the park. All of them have been extremely instrumental in my Christian walk, in our walk as a team. Every single one of them have been a great encouragement. Uh, it's just that we have sort of begun mobilizing this as a team and they have been working on other things. But we are all part of the same family for the glory of God Amen. and therefore um, we uh, thank you all together. So thank you very much Brother Jude and everyone else and thank you. God's richest blessings to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.